大変お待たせいたしました。This part will be availing simultaneous interpretation service. If you wish to listen to the interpretation, please press the translation button on the Zoom menu and choose whichever language you wish to listen to. Let me introduce the winners attending today. To the winners,、uh, please switch on your video. The Literature Award, m a s t e c h Japan Company Limited CEO, Mr. Hidaka Yosuke. The Institute of Behavioral Sciences Vice President, Executive Director, Dr. Makimura Kazuhiko. Japan Research Institute Center for Strategy of Emergence Senior Specialist, Mr. Inoue Takekazu. Automotive News Company CEO, Ligare Editor in Chief, Mr. Inoue Keizo. Seishi University School of Commerce Professor Ota Kazuhiro. Kansai University Faculty of Economics Professor Utsunomiya Kiyohito. Best Paper Award, Research. Associate Department of Transportation Planning and Engineering, National Technical University of Athens, Dr. Apostolos Diakopoulos, Lecturer in Transport Systems, School of Architecture, Building and Civil Engineering, l a f f a r a University, Assistant Professor Ana Athanasios Diophilatos. Faculty of Technology, Policy and Management, Delft University of Technology, Assistant Professor Eleonora Papa Dimitrio, Department of Transportation Planning and Engineering, National Technical University of Athens, Professor George Yanis. These are the winners. And to the winners, please switch off your video. We also have in attendance from IATS, IATS President Takeuchi Kazuhiko. Chairperson, Awards and Grants Department Planning Committee, Professor Nakamura Fumihiko. IATS Executive Director, Mr. Kamada Satoshi. IATS Managing Director, Mr. Hashi Kenji. These are the members present from IATS. And I myself, I'll be serving as the MC for this session. My name is Ishikawa from IATS. I seek for your cooperation. This is today's program. Following a message from President Takeuchi, the Chairperson of the Wood and Grants Department Planning Committee, will report on、uh, the selection process. The awards will be presented in the order of literature and then the best paper awards. President Takeuchi will present the award certificates over the screen. Since we are unable to present them in person today, the winners will receive, in addition, a crystal plaque and prize money. With no further ado, I'd like to call upon President Takeuchi to deliver his greetings, please. 
Thank you for the introduction. I am Takeuchi, president of IATS. Allow me to deliver my greetings to mark the opening of the 42nd IATS Award Presentation Ceremony. The IATS Award Program was launched five years after IATS was officially established in 1974. Actually, the award was established in the same year, but the presentation took place five years after. Now, this was because IATS believed it first had to strive to widely recognize, be re widely recognized as a public interest corporation worthy of presenting such awards. Because we had this strong feeling, we waited five years. This year marks the 42nd presentation ceremony. Thanks to everyone's support. We believe the awards have come to be highly recognized and well received by the winners and others. We are very proud that we have been able to achieve this. IATS awards have gained their prestige thanks to the outstanding achievements of the winners. This year again, we have an outstanding list of winners. I would like to express my respect to all the women winners and also pray that you will continue to strive to work in your respective fields. Thanks to the achievements and also the great effort of the selection committee, we are able to enjoy this recognition towards the awards. I thank you very much indeed. This year again, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we must hold the ceremony online. Usually, we have an opportunity to talk with one another after the ceremony. And at that time, when we meet, we are able to listen to the background and what led uh, to these achievements. However, this year again, we are unable to hold this meeting or gathering in person. Remote events have become the norm, but I think it's regrettable that we cannot have such opportunities to talk to each other. And though we have yet to see the pandemic contained, and there is even this trend of an increase in the infection, I sincerely hope everyone will remain safe and continue to engage in your activities. In closing, I would like to call upon you for your continuing support and understanding towards IADS. Thank you once again. Thank you very much, President Takeuchi. Now, um, Professor Nakamura Fumihiko, Chairperson of the uh, Awards and uh, Grants Department of Planning Committee, is going to report to you the uh, selection process of the awards. Uh, I am Nakamura, the chair of the Planning Committee Awards and Grants uh, Department. I'm glad to host uh, the 42nd IAT Award Ceremony today. Let me take uh, this opportunity to share with you the processes uh, for the honors thus far. There are three awards uh, sections, uh, the Achievements Awards, uh, Literature Award, and the Best Paper Award uh, with the respective uh, rules for screening. Candidates are reviewed by the committee, and after voting by the members, the board of directors are to make a final decision on awardees. For the Achievement Award, uh, the ones for, uh, who demonstrate remarkable achievements for the traffic and its safety will be selected. We scrutinized uh, five uh, candidates in this process of hearing and reviewing. However, unfortunately, none of them were selected for the honor this year. For the Literature Award, uh, we select the uh, distinguished writings that aim for the better transport society out of the new publications in the preceding two years. 
we reviewed uh, 42 candidate publications this year, and uh, three of those are honored. Beyond Mars, a new mobility revolution beginning in Japan, a movement and the future of the cities, co-authored by four, uh, Mr. Hidaka Yosuke, Dr. Makimura Kazuhiko, and Mr. Uh, Inoue uh, Takekazu, Mr. Inoue. And ha the highway of the uh, road policy of Japan from the viewpoint of economics and the political science by Professor Ota Kazuhiro, Kazuhiro uh, integrated the policy of local public transportation, a new era seen from the comparison between Japan and Europe uh, by uh, Professor Utsunomiyaki Hirohito. The uh, Beyond Mars New Mobility Revolution Building in Japan, the authors discussed uh, Beyond Mars. Um, the recent magnet of discussion as uh, potential integrations with other industries. The uh, public roadmaps, uh, master plans, and other case studies are referenced and reviewed from the vantage point. Uh, that way, the readers are introduced to learn uh, structures, issues, and possibilities of the system to start with. In order to build a um, sustainable Japan Mars going forward, the authors take up a business uh, ecosystem proposed by the J. Moore to explain necessity to be rebuild interrelations of uh, conventional players. Then, mass business domains are summarized in three. The mass uh, basic architecture domain for the applications to provide information booking uh, and clearing services, and deep mass to uh, optimize transport and local or city traffic, and uh, beyond mass uh, domain that pertains to collaboration between the transport and other industries, as well as to smart cities. Growth a strategy uh, by the respective uh, transport industries, uh, creation of the values based on the emerging collaborations and exit strategy of case by the automotive industry related to mass are discussed. The book focuses on beyond mass a business model as a possible integrations of all kinds of sectors that form society beyond uh, tra transportation and automotive industries in the title of this book. In the preceding publication, mass a game change of all industries beyond mobility revolution, keywords were described uh, that potentially bring about uh, game changes in the respective industries. Now the same are discussed referring to demonstration models and trends are materialized in the following two years. Readers can easily learn benefits and issues revealed in each of the industries. Uh, comparing today's uh, situations to the near future master plans based on Google Smart City concept after 2030, when automated uh, driving and mass are commonplace, uh, together with the urban redesigning, uh, authors suggest the directions we should uh, take uh, going forward. It is uh, co-authored by four people, including uh, Mr. Hidaka, and uh, each of them demonstrates uh, their expertise in their chapters, whereas the tone in writing are modulated for the extremely smooth reading. Some of the chapters include the re-edited articles from uh, Nikkei Cross Trend uh, magazine due to the unique makeup of this uh, publication. They are re-edited uh, to match the structure of this book entirely so that author's consistency and the logical structure is maintained. Beyond Mars is a, a power word to pry into a once in the century changes uh, surrounding mobility. The book uh, describes uh, the concept with the easy to understand the structure and timely information anticipating broader audience. Uh, we highly appreciated uh, those perspectives. The highway and the road policy of Japan from the viewpoints of economics and political sciences is a big volume uh, publication which depicts a wholesome picture of the postal highway and road policies in Japan, envisioning how they should be in the future. Analytical methodologies of the welfare economics and public choice theory are employed to describe facts and inference throughout the entire book in order to explain how come the current highway and road policies today what would the automated uh, driving technology bring in this new phase? Based on the author's research achievements and practical involvement uh, in his expertise of the transportation economy until now, extremely cool-headed uh, discussion is uh, developed. He provides a basic frame of reference, identifies problems, gives historical overviews of uh, highway and the road policies, then discusses the government's uh, improvement uh, policies uh, of nationwide network of uh, highways and toll policies or those of ordinary roads in relation to the automotive tax and specific revenue for the 
improvement purposes uh, for the dimension for the he mentions the privatization privatization of the Japan Highway public corporations as well as, well as the reallocation of the such a specific road revenue to the uh, general one the discussion is focused on the changes of the highway road policies during the period of the 2000 to provide a future landscape of the policies the author maintains consistent perspective uh, throughout the book uh, to explain ex the institutional overviews and the legislative philosophies behind it he presents interpretation of a political decision making according to the choice uh, public choice policy those ideas are systematically over organized to explain philosophy purpose and institution analysis and assessment and decisions and policies charts and tables are appropriately inserted in between the chapters and paragraph um, some of those are compiled by the author himself. Uh, writing style is uh, also accessible for readers to easily understand the processes for political decisions, the interpretations of a committee and uh, diet deliberations. The book is uh, 415 pages long for specialist audience. However, it invites interest by readers of uh, all other disciplines. And also it is designed to facilitate readers to uh, readers effortless understanding. Automotive transportation has matured and popularized, uh, which are the difficulties uh, to the policies. For future uh, policy making, uh, the author proposes to set up highway and road trustee mechanism to clarify relations between the contributions and benefits. Further, he suggests to relax compulsory adherence to political parties' decisions uh, when the voting um, for bills uh, during the diet session. He says it is not possible, however, uh, with advancing automated uh, driving technology, which will be conducive of a vertically integrated uh, giant, giant system and hyper auto company by negotiating with an interesting companies, uh, probably rational decision making process will be created for highway and road policies. That was the uh, is uh, mentioned in the conclusion. We appreciated that such anticipation will provide a perfect dialogue topic amongst the various academic disciplines and the uh, various uh, traffic and uh, safety issues are discussed in the interdisciplinary perspectives. Next, integrated the policy of uh, local public transportation, a new era seen from the comparison between Japan and uh, Europe is written based on the author's papers regarding local public transportation policies published after 2013 contains uh, it his research outcome during uh, his tenure in Vienna University of Technology about local actions on the transportations in Austria and the European countries. He discusses integrated uh, local public transportation policies in Japan going forward and relevant institutions expected. Focusing on local cities of a less than one million population and the peripheries around the mega cities, he discusses in the monumental this in this monumental work on transitions of policies as well as a quantitative analysis based on two axis approach, Japan and Europe and uh, institution and uh, demonstrations. Firstly, he sorts out rationale to discuss local public transportation policies, then moves on to discussions regarding transport transition and the struggle of Japan is a local uh, transportation policies and the basic of, of a transportation policy revised by the deregulations policy. And then he discusses uh, similar policy transitions in Europe after millennium, uh, how the integration uh, idea should apply to those policies and uh, uh, policies realized in Australia and assessment about final su financial support, implications and the limitation of a cost benefit analysis, uh, value of local public, public transportation um, despite um, all that, as well as uh, he analyzed the value measurements of a local rail uh, lines. He sorts out uh, conceptual relations between the social capital and local public transportation with the macro data. The impact uh, of the local public transportation policies on the social capital is discussed uh, based on the uh, studies in Australia in Japan. And he cites the data from Germany, France, and Japan um, and finally, he conclu uh, he, the conclusion envisioning the realization of integrated uh, policies for the local public uh, transportation. First millennium uh, transitions in local public transportation policies in Europe and Japan are accurately described based on plenty of literatures and uh, easy to understand explanation is given so that uh, people on working level, not only researchers, find them accessible and worth the uh, efforts to read. Critical uh, concepts such as integration and the um, social capital are discussed, citing many references in the context of uh, local public transportation policies. The contents uh, especially help uh, beginners and uh, working level people understand uh, better, yet they are more than satisfactory for the specialist uh, perspectives. 
Another unique feature is that uh, surveys and uh, micro statistics are utilized for quantitative analysis. Allocating a chapter for a demonstrative analysis, uh, author specifically points out issues to be considered in this field of uh, policy making, in addition to demonstrative approach based on data. Researchers and, th researchers and uh, those working on the uh, policies can learn a lot about uh, changes of policies in the past 20 years, how we can learn from European cases, methodology to analyze relevant policies, and so on. He's uh, consistent in saying uh, we should uh, pursue the policies for the benefit of the local communities, not just the betterment of uh, public uh, transportation, which encourages uh, readers to think what those policies should be. As above, uh, we appreciate that trained uh, discussion points and issues of local public transportation policies are academically and uh, demonstratively summarized. In the Best Paper Awards section, we honor authors of uh, uh, distinguished papers out of the ones published in IELTS uh, Review and IELTS Research. This year, uh, committee members uh, peer-reviewed uh, 10 papers from the uh, articles from IAS Review, Volume 42, 40, uh, Number 2 and 3, Volume, for, volume 45, Number 1, as well as uh, 35 papers from IAS Research, Volume 43, Issue 3 and 4, and uh, Volume 44, Issues 1 and 2. Uh, we had uh, peer-reviews. And uh, of the 45 candidates we have chosen, the uh, meta-analysis of the impacts of uh, operating in vehicle information systems on the road safety by four authors. Dr. Uh, Apostolos uh, Giacopoulos, Assistant Professor Anath Anath Athanasios uh, Theophilatos, and Assistant Professor Eleonora Papadimiotrio, and Professor George uh, Yanis. To reduce uh, traffic accidents, a uh, basic knowledge of uh, major causes for accidents is extremely important, in particular when the next generation new technology is introduced, much of ac associated accidents are unknown. Recently, in the field of uh, traffic safety studies, uh, new kinds of accidents are recognized, drawing a lot of attention, which are the accidents caused by the operating uh, onboard systems such as IVIS. Demonstration studies have been conducted until now, focusing on operations of onboard systems. However, those were merely subsets of sample-based uh, investigations, and they were not uh, the one based on the large data set randomly extracted uh, from the populations. As a result, uh, critical indicators of uh, how often the traffic accidents associated with operating onboard systems occur are different uh, depending on the research projects. Uh, thus, uh, fundamental discussions as to how to mitigate those types of accidents have been difficult. The authors focus on this problem and issues, and uh, in an attempt uh, to consider effective actions to mitigate uh, traffic accidents due to operating onboard systems, and adopted uh, the methodology called uh, random effect meta-analysis, which was not uh, really applied in the prior studies. Out of the demonstrative study data reported so far in the history of uh, traffic safety studies, the authors utilize all of those available to obtain highly reliable demonstrative knowledge about the accidents. A random effect meta-analysis is a classical methodology generally used uh, in behavioral scientific research where the data from the different uh, demonstrative studies are handled as the data differently sampled, f sampled from the same population in order for more accurate estimation of the parameters. As a result, 1.66% uh, of uh, total uh, traffic accidents were estimated to be attributable to operating onboard systems. In the conventional studies, the rate was reported to be between 0 0.2 and 2.46 percent. It was difficult to define an uh, exact level of the rate. If it were 0.2 percent, the rate of those accidents is, is extremely low, which would not warrant a substantial efforts to reduce further. However, if it is 1.66 percent, we shouldn't take it as minimal. Therefore, we can conclude that future actions will be crucial. They also find that uh, in case of a professional drivers, the rate is a 0.6%, a reduction to one third of the level. And this clearly means uh, improving driving skills uh, could mitigate the accidents uh, due to operating uh, uh, onboard systems. 
This study uh, successfully reveals uh, such important knowledge of the traffic safety research, which was not known before using the innovative uh, new methodology. The paper is a great contributor to the traffic safety studies, both in the academic and the practical perspectives. That concludes my summary of award screening this year. I would like to extend my deepest request in the exceptional achievements and efforts behind those award winners. Congratulations. Chairperson Nakamura, thank you very much. And now I'd like to proceed to uh, the IATS award presentation. Uh, first, the literature award. There are three winners. The first is Beyond Mass, New Mobility Revolution Beginning in Japan, Movement and the Future of Cities. There are four co-authors. They are Mass Attack Japan Company Limited CEO, Mr. Hidaka Yosuke. Institute of Behavioral Sciences Vice President, Executive Director, uh, Dr. Makimura Kazuhiko. The Japan Research Institute Limited, Senior Specialist, or rather, Center for Strategy of Emergence, uh, Mr. Inoue Takegaz, and Automotive News Company Limited CEO, Mr. Inoue Keizo. First, uh, Mr. Hidaka Yosuke will be presented the award certificate by President Takeuchi. Please switch on your video and microphone. International Association of Traffic and Safety Sciences Literature Award. Beyond Mass, a new mobility revolution beginning in Japan, movement and the future of cities. Mr. Hidaka Yosuke. Uh, this award is presented to you for your outstanding book, which represents an exceptional achievement in academic research and a valuable contribution to the realization of an ideal mobile society. April 9, 2021, International Association of Traffic and Safety Sciences, President Takeuchi Kazuhiko. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Hidaka, can we hear from you now, please? And thank you for giving us uh, this very prestigious award. My co-authors will be speaking, so let me just give you an overview and also express my thanks to you. Now, this book, Beyond Mass, well, this is a second book, and especially overseas, we see digitization taking place at transportation, and uh, people are, have various needs towards mobility, not just trains and other public transportation. It's not in Finland, uh, but overseas we see a number of new developments taking place, and all four co-authors uh, felt attracted to this dynamism, and we thought uh, that uh, we needed to communicate this um, not just technically, but also to try to explain in easy to understand words about the future vision of what is likely to happen in easy to understand ways. Of course, um, we give examples of Europe and others, and the mechanism, the system, the customs are different depending on the country. Uh, but I think when it comes to digital, um, com countries can learn from each other. And therefore, of for those people who can read English papers, it's good. But I think it's important for the Japanese people to understand what is taking place in mass overseas so that they can make reference to our book, understand the general trend. Now, um, we are very honored to be able to receive this literature award. And we want to try to, as one player, create a vision of beyond mass society. On this note, I would like to conclude. Thank you very much once again for this honor. Thank you very much, Mr. Hidaka. Please switch off your video and microphone. And next, 
we will have Dr. Makimura Kazehiko receive the award certificate from President Takeuchi. Please switch on your microphone and video. Um, Dr. Makimura Kazehiko, the rest is the same, so I'll skip that part. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Dr. Makimura, can we hear from you? President Takeuchi and Chairperson Nakamura and all those at EIATS who have given us this honor, I thank you very much. And Chairman Nakamura has given an explanation of the reason why we were chosen. We're very honored uh, to be able to have this opportunity. Now, um, let me try to explain to you why I came to take part in this authoring of the book. From 2000, um, in Japan, uh, we were reluctant to talk about the future and the future vision, uh, but um, there are people who are thinking about 20, 30 years ahead um, so as to take preventive measures. And we have presidents and also people today who are doing this, but these days, especially at companies, people are very short focused. And I think uh, that we are in this negative spiral because of this recognition, I thought I, we had to present the future. Now, overseas, uh, we see both the long-term and short-term vision, and people are very agile. And I think uh, that um, people are trying to strike a balance between uh, social development and economic growth. And based on this, trying to promote digital policies and other policies. There is, there's a need for speed especially when it regards to mobility. Japan has to face up to what it needs to do for the future. And it was against this background that I decided to become a co-author to this book, Beyond Mass. Um, there are a number of people, new people, who are starting to work together in this field. Beyond Mass, uh, we want to create a world where there will be no accidents, everyone will have smiles. I believe that this will be the case, and I would like to once again thank IATS for giving us this honor today. I will continue to work hard so that we can realize a safe and secure mobility society. Thank you once again. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Makimura. Uh, please turn off uh, your uh, video and uh, microphone. So next, uh, Mr. Uh, Inoue Tatekazu, uh, President Takeuchi, is going to present you the certificate of uh, award. Uh, please turn on your video and microphone, Mr. Inoue. Uh, Mr. Uh, Inoue Takekazu, the rest of the certificate uh, statement is same. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So, uh, Mr. Inoue, please uh, give you uh, your remarks. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I'm very uh, honored uh, to uh, have uh, received uh, this uh, award. And uh, rather um, than the uh, specialist in the uh, traffic, I am the uh, agriculture specialist. And uh, I studied out uh, traffic and transportation studies uh, because um, when we think about uh, the safety and the security of the uh, local community, uh, transportation traffic is very important. A mass and uh, uh, the new mobility can be introduced uh, in order to secure and uh, help um, improve uh, the uh, community in the local area and the layperson in that regard. However, I was honored uh, to be able to participate as an author uh, for the book, and uh, this is, of course, one of the symbols uh, uh, in this uh, digital uh, era. And also, I have a good knowledge about agriculture, and uh, such knowledge is nowadays uh, well utilized uh, uh, in today's world. For instance, um, uh, the knowledge of uh, biology, so uh, in the digital era, a lot of things are integrated, and then uh, we can sort of learn from the uh, nature, biology, and the way thing we think about uh, the uh, integration uh, ecosystem in the nature is uh, symbolic in a way. So we can sort of approach uh, that concept uh, in the integration of uh, those area too.
So, uh, public transportation um, system can be improved uh, utilizing those knowledge and the mass is a new uh, territories and new area where uh, we can utilize as uh, new kinds of commons to improve uh, local community. And finally, personally, uh, President Takeuchi is uh, organizing uh, this uh, award um, ceremony. And actually, uh, Dr. President Takeuchi was a teacher when I was at school, and uh, I'm very honored uh, to meet him again uh, in this classroom. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Inoue. Uh, please turn off your microphone and uh, the video. Next, uh, uh, President Takeuchi is going to present uh, the certificate of the award uh, to Mr. Uh, Inoue Keizo. Uh, please turn on your video and microphone, Mr. Inoue. Uh, Mr. Uh, Inoue Keizo, the rest of the uh, certificates the same. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, please uh, give us your um, remarks. Uh, thank you very much for introduction. I'm very uh, glad to be honored uh, with this uh, uh, such a splendid award. And uh, personally, I um, working on the uh, Japan um, automotive uh, newspaper as a journalist, uh, and it is an industry uh, paper. And the mobility service uh, was something uh, um, not uh, common in Japan when I started writing for that. However, uh, when I uh, went to Europe for reporting, uh, we had uh, discussions about uh, community building and the transportation and traffic. And, um, I felt uh, it is different in Japan, and uh, we thought uh, we should uh, encourage uh, discussions and engagement of this area in Japan, and I started writing about it, and then automotive uh, customers and uh, others started uh, taking up topics uh, like this, including uh, IT companies nowadays. And uh, uh, business players are uh, increasing in number, and uh, Japan must uh, can be realized uh, with the discussions uh, and the triggers this way. And I'm trying to explore what is the uh, real trigger for the uh, de development of uh, those uh, mass in Japan. And uh, Japanese uh, transport and automotive industry uh, uh, and also uh, is connected to the uh, sustainable and uh, safe um, traffic and transport systems too. And I'd like to keep uh, providing information in this area, especially knowledge. Um, and uh, of course, our company, the newspaper company, has a target like that. And I'd like to um, help uh, connect uh, between the two to help realize the uh, beyond mass. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Inoue. Um, please, once again, switch off your microphone and video. The Literature Award, the second winner, the Highway and Road Policy of Japan from the Viewpoints of Economics and Political Science. Uh, the winner is uh, School of Commerce at Senshi University, Professor Ota Kazuhiro. He is with us here today. Please proceed to the podium. International Association of Traffic and Safety Sciences Literature Award, the Highway and Road Policy of Japan from the Viewpoints of Economics and Political Science, Professor Ota Kazuhiro. This award is presented to you for your outstanding book, which represents an exceptional achievement in academic research and a valuable contribution to the realization of an ideal mobile society. April 9, 2021, International Association of Traffic and Safety Sciences, President Takeuchi Hazuhiko. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Professor Ota, can we hear from you now? 
Yes, thank you for this opportunity. I'm very, very happy. That's my honest feeling. And there are three reasons why I say so. First, um, uh, the award and grants um, department. I've actually worked for four years on the screen, the screening process for the selection committee. And for three years, uh, there were no winners. And uh, the screening was quite strict. And especially um, for the interdisciplinary research, um, there has been a strict screening process in place. And um, President Takeuchi has said uh, that um, um, this award um, and other awards of IS have be become extremely regarded as extremely prestigious. So I'm very happy to receive this award. And um, last June, um, the book was published, and it has received a number of critiques. And well, um, there are some which just introduced the book, uh, but the assessment given to me this time, I think, uh, really understood my intention. So I'm very happy to hear from Professor Nakamura. And uh, Professor Nakamura explained about the summary, um, but um, please access IS website. I think um, the publication will be disclosed. And I'm very happy that um, Professor Nakama and others at IS have come to appreciate the content of my book. And the third reason why I'm happy, I turned 60 last year, and I published this book to mark that occasion. And I was thinking that was the end of my career. But um, um, as um, Professor Nakamura mentioned, towards the end, I think there are a number of things um, uh, that need uh, to be considered when we think about future vision. And in the last part of my book, I just briefly touched on the future, uh, but uh, if that will be fruit for thought for others, I think that I should once again revisit that chapter so as to provide you with more insight into the future. So I think um, that uh, I've been given a new incentive to carry on and do this work. So that is the third reason why I'm very happy to receive this award. Thank you very much. Professor Ota, thank you very much. Please return to your seat. And next, uh, the third winner of the Literature Award, the an integrated policy of local public transportation, a new era seen from the comparison between Japan and Europe. Uh, the winner is Professor Utsunomiya Kiyohito. From Kansai University, Faculty of Economics. Um, Professor Utsunomiya, please switch on your video and microphone. President Takeuchi will present you with the certificate. International Association of Traffic and Safety Sciences Literature Award, Integrated Policy of Local Public Transportation, a new era seen from the comparison between Japan and Europe, Professor Utsunomiya Kiyohito. This award is presented to you for your outstanding book, which represents an exceptional achievement in academic research and a valuable contribution to the realization of an ideal mobile society. April 9, 2021, International Association of Traffic and Safety Sciences. President Takeuchi Kazehiko, congratulations. Congratulations. Professor Utsunomiya, please. And thank you uh, very much uh, for giving me this honor of receiving this very prestigious award. And also uh, to all of you who took part in the screening process, I thank you very much indeed. When it comes to transportation, well, I'm very happy um, to receive this award because I we work for the Bank of Japan and I was doing work on economics and statistics, but um, transportation was not my expertise. Um, so I'm an amateur, so to say, and uh, raising my opinion. And it's only 10 years ago that I've started to engage in this work. And I think I've finally been recognized as a professional in the transportation field. 
Now, the content of the book has already been explained by Chairman Chairperson Nakamura, Professor Nakamura, but um, um, I compared Japan versus Europe, and what I paid attention to is not to just look at the systems that say, but from 2000, uh, I've looked at chronically, chronologically, how things have changed because um, systems overseas, um, they are a comparison, but when it comes to actual policy, because of the different historical backgrounds, they're not directly applicable, uh, but the environment of transportation and the communities are quite the same. We are all facing similar challenges. And I want to look into what the similarities or differences there are between Japan and Europe. And that was the starting point. And about the demonstration analysis, demonstrative analysis, well, um, we, um, there are a number of things uh, which are uh, difficult uh, to quantify, especially qualitative aspect. I try to quantify as much as possible. And this was because um, when I was working for the central bank, I was um, doing the statistics on commodity prices. And um, people are not familiar with this, um, but setting prices is not just uh, putting together numbers. Um, be it the smartphone or your apparel, products change. And so when you want to compare prices, you have to have a set condition under which you do the comparison. So first, you have to make a coordination, adjust um, the quality, and start with qualitative analysis of the quality. And in my book, um, um, I did talk about um, the factors used, uh, but I think um, at the BOJ, uh, the Bank of Japan, we have been using these statistical approaches, and I tried to apply this uh, to transportation. But as evidence, uh, there are limitations, and there are a number of issues that need to be addressed, and yet I was given this honor and, and I think and this it will drive me to continue to do this research work. I'm quite old, uh, but I want to continue on with this work. And I can call up on you for your continuing support and guidance. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Utsunomiya, and Professor Utsunomiya. Please turn off your video and the microphone. So now uh, the best paper awards. We have one award, a meta-analysis of the impact of the uh, on impacts of operating uh, in vehicle information systems on road safety, co-authored by four members. The research associates are Department of uh, Transportation Planning and Engineering, uh, National Technical University of Athens, Dr. Apostolos Zakopoulos. Lecturer uh, in Transport Systems at School of uh, Architecture, Building and Civil Engineering, Loughborough University. Assistant Professor Athanasios Athephilatos. Assistant Professor, Faculty of Technology, Policy and Management at Delft University of, University of Technology. Assistant Professor Eleonora Papadimitriou. A Department of Transportation Planning and Engineering, National Technical University of Athens, Professor uh, George Yanis. First, um, President Atake Uchi is going to present uh, the certificate of the awards uh, to Dr. Uh, Apos. To Los uh, Ziacopoulos, uh, please turn on your uh, video and the microphone, uh, Dr. Ziacopoulos. I had the award, best paper award, a meta analysis of the impacts of operating in vehicle information systems on road safety. Uh, Dr. Apostolos uh, Ziacopoulos. And this award is presented to you for your outstanding uh, paper, which represents an uh, exceptional achievement in academic research and a valuable contribution to the realization of an ideal mobile society. 
April 9th, 2021, International Association of Traffic and Safety Science, uh, President Takeuchi Kazuhiko. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, uh, Dr. Ziokopoulos, uh, please uh, take this opportunity to uh, give us the uh, remarks. Thank you very much, uh, esteemed IELTS members, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you very much for presenting us with the 42nd uh, Best Paper Award. We are greatly honored uh, to receive such an acknowledgement of our scientific award work from a prestigious and uh, globally known association. We firmly believe in the importance of uh, road safety research and uh, new related analysis that uh, will continue to come out. And uh, starting from the academic domain, new knowledge can be transferred uh, to real world applications and to tangible and visible reductions in crashes and casualties, which is a goal uh, that is served by every country. Uh, the stagnation in uh, road safety crashes uh, being reduced uh, during recent years highlights the need for intensified research efforts to return to reductions once again. And for these efforts to be effective, uh, we need to standardize and condense uh, research results that have been created so far. Once this process is complete, researchers can base future and more complex uh, research topics on established uh, and compact results. Our study conducted the literature review and applied meta-analysis techniques to focus on the overall effect of uh, operating in vehicle information systems, IVs, while driving uh, on the absolute proportion of crashes. And we found that about 1.66% of total crashes and 0.6% of safety critical incidents for professional drivers are due to the IVs operation. Uh, these results can be used in a number of ways. We can provide input for uh, cost-benefit analysis in the future so that practitioners can meaningfully set priorities for crash reductions, or uh, we can uh, set uh, IVs uh, impacts under advisement when uh, designing the interior of vehicles and uh, such uh, information uh, systems and their layout. And of course, uh, new and unexpected uh, research can uh, utilize our results as basis as well. Uh, the topic of IVs is expected to become increasingly relevant uh, with the advent of uh, connected and autonomous vehicles. And the road safety community must be aware of uh, added distraction levels and used by IV systems when operating cars of a higher technological level and when resuming driving from automated systems um, and uh, when uh, navigation returns to the human drivers. Uh, we hope that we have uh, contributed even slightly to a world with less crashes. Once again, thank you very much for the uh, IAT's Best Paper Award, and uh, this inspires us to further increase our uh, research activities. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ziakopoulos. Please turn off your video and the microphone. So next, uh, Assistant Professor Athanasi uh, Osateofilatus, uh, um, President Tateuchi is going to um, present you the uh, certificate of awards. Please turn on your video and the microphone, please. Hello. Hello, and thank you very much. Uh, we are very honored to get this uh, award. Uh, it's not something that uh, you get every day. Before speaking something, uh, please uh, allow me to uh, uh, sorry. Uh, give you this uh, uh, award. Asanasios Theophilatos. Uh, professor, um, Assistant Professor Athanasius Theophilatus, uh, congratulations. Uh, this is the certificate of the, of the analysis. Congratulations. Thank you. So now. Yeah, um, apologies for my hurry. <laughs> so thank you very much. Um, we are deeply honored and uh, truly happy for this award. It's not something that, that we, we get every day. And uh, let me, if I may say a few things on the technical aspects of, of the paper. 
So this work, this, this work was based on the Safety Tube uh, project where we aimed to, to develop an innovative road safety decision support system. And we were always keeping the impact of our research in our mind. So we did some modeling, but we also had the impact and the true um, effect on people's lives. So what we actually did is that we carried out a qualitative, but also quantitative synthesis of the literature. Uh, we carried out a meta-analysis. We calculated the overall estimate of uh, the impact of um, IVs to absolute proportion of crashes. And we had to overcome some technical problems like publication bias and other uh, problems that traditional meta-analysis face. We uh, took into account all these impacts and um, we, we, we were happy to present uh, like a robust and important finding for road safety. I totally agree with uh, Dr. Apostolos that um, in the era of, of autonomous vehicles, um, the topic of in-vehicle information systems might not seem like as a top priority, but it is something that we should considerably take into account more and more in the future. And for, for uh, example, we have a lot of uh, in-vehicle navigation devices. Uh, we will go step by step into full autonomy. We will not reach full autonomy <clears throat> right, right away. So from different levels of, uh, of autonomy, we should be aware of destruction. And uh, in that light, we feel that the current research increases the knowledge on the effect of in-vehicle devices. Thank you very much again. It was really an honor and uh, arigato. Thank you very much. Uh, please switch off your video and microphone. And next, Assistant Professor Eleonora Papadimitriou. Uh, President Takeuchi will be presenting with you on the certificate. Please switch on your video and microphone. Assistant Professor Eleonora Papadimitriou, congratulations. Congratulations. Assistant Professor, would you like to take the floor? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, very grateful uh, and honored to participate in this ceremony and receive uh, this great recognition of uh, our uh, recent research um, on the impact of in-vehicle information systems on, on road safety. Uh, as Mr. Chairman of the Awards Committee mentioned, and also my co-author, uh, this paper touches upon two important uh, topics. One is uh, destruction, one of the major uh, road safety problems. We introduce more and more onboard systems and automation in the vehicle aiming to assist drivers and eliminate these human factors that are um, known to be related to uh, severe or fatal uh, crashes. But sometimes these systems can also induce uh, distraction to the driver, resulting in new risks. Um, the, the second contribution, um, the second issue that this paper touches upon is, uh, is methodological. It is the meta-analysis, uh, a method that summarizes uh, and synthesizes existing research in a, in a quantitative way, in a statistical uh, way, so that we can generalize uh, the findings and draw some conclusions by bringing together the efforts of many um, uh, scholars. 
Um, on, on this, I would, of course, uh, like to thank very much uh, all my co-authors uh, for this um, uh, excellent collaboration, uh, Dr. Diakopoulos and Dr. Theophilatos, uh, for the uh, scientific rigor in which uh, they, uh, uh, they worked on this paper, and of course, Professor Yanis for his excellent uh, contribution, uh, supervision, and, and guidance. Um, we have been uh, working on road safety research uh, with, with, all, with my co-authors uh, for many years. And, and although in, in the recent years, some of us have moved uh, to other universities in other European countries, we, we still collaborate and uh, we will continue to collaborate uh, in the future. Um, and uh, one final note, I would also like to point out that I have the pleasure and honor to uh, serve as a member of the editorial board in the IATS uh, research journal since uh, 2017. And uh, I am uh, very proud uh, that this journal uh, promotes scientific excellence in, in road safety research by covering a wide range of topics bringing together researches from different regions uh, over the globe and the important uh, efforts and the uh, quality of, of the journal is also visible by the steadily increasing performance uh, of, the, of the journal in, in academic rankings and uh, therefore I look very much forward to continuing my contribution to this journal as an editor and as an author. Um, so again, uh, thank you very much. I'm very grateful for this award. Thank you very much for your kind words, and please switch off your video and microphone. And next, Professor George Yanis, President Takeuchi will present you with the award certificate. Please switch on your microphone and video. Professor George Yanis. Glad to see you again. Congratulations. Congratulations. So, with no further ado, Professor Yanis, please. Uh, dear esteemed uh, IATS members, I would like uh, to thank uh, the International Association of Traffic and Safety Sciences for this great honor. Uh, this award is an important recognition of our work as it comes from one of the most famous and long established road safety research organizations globally. Our Department of Transportation Planning and Engineering of the National Technical University of Athens is a center of uh, research excellence uh, on road safety with global recognition ranked very high in global academic rankings. We are very active on road safety research for more than 30 years covering all areas of road safety and mobility research from uh, human factors to infrastructure and vehicle technology and road safety management, including our contribution to all Greek and European road safety strategic plans since the early 90s. We have a major focus on road safety data management and analysis, having contributed to several global road safety initiatives like uh, the development of the European and African road safety observatories, the PRACT and the Safety Cube road safety decision support systems, and the United Nations global road safety model SAFEITS. During the last decade, we also focus on road safety, digitalization, automation, and connectivity. And the awarded paper concerned the research in the area of uh, gradual transition to the new automation area. And at this paper, we try to address a great challenge to make a transferable synthesis of onboard systems uh, and their effects on road safety through the use of uh, random effect uh, meta analysis. And of course, this award will certainly give us additional strength to continue working on new technology challenges for evidence-based decision support for safer traffic everywhere and for all. So we thank you again for this award, which we consider as an excellent opportunity to strengthen our cooperation and promote road safety research globally. Arigato. Yanis Sama, arigato gozaimashita. Thank you very much, Professor Yanis. Please switch off your microphone and video.
それではここで祝日。First,、um, uh, Mr. Matsumoto Mitsuhiro,、uh, Commissioner General of the National Palace、uh, Agency. Joining, joining the uh, 42nd uh, IATS uh, World Presentation Ceremony, I would、uh, like to extend my uh, deepest uh, re respect for the achievements、uh, by the awardees. And congratulations、uh, from my heart、uh, for the honors presented、uh, today. Since its founding in、uh, 1974, IATS、uh, have been engaged in a broad range of、uh, traffic issues、uh, from the international、uh, perspectives, with the,、uh, lots of achievements so far.、Uh, please accept、uh, my cordial respects、uh, for the success of the IATS. Last year, Traffic accidents uh, claimed uh, 2,839 deaths. For four, four years uh, consecutively, uh, the fatality number had reduced to the lowest of the record year by year, below 3,000,、uh, first time since、uh, 1948 when the current statistics、uh, were initiated. However,、uh, still today, many of the invaluable lives are lost in the traffic accidents. This year, We are、uh, starting the uh, 11th uh, traffic uh, safety basic uh, plans. Uh, National Policy Agency collaborate uh, with the uh, sectors and uh, industries of the respective uh, departments. Uh, we promote effective use of uh, traffic safety facilities, equipment, and traffic、uh, regulations. But、uh, I'd like to、uh, strongly and、uh, comprehensively promote、uh, various measures such as、uh, traffic safety education, guidance, and enforcement regarding violation of, uh, uh, vi violations of malicious and dangerous in nature. All of the publications and papers honored this time are very suggestive. I'd like to、uh, learn from the、uh, From them、uh, for our future actions for traffic safety. I sincerely hope that、uh, the achievements of your studies will be utilized broadly in administrative and economic activities going forward. And last but not least, I wish for the further success of the IATS and、uh, good health and the well being of you all. Congratulations. Thank you very much, um, uh, Commissioner General. Thank you. And next,、uh, Deputy Director General for Policies on Cohesive Society, Cabinet Office,、uh, Mr. Lamba Kenta, please. I am Lamba, the Deputy Director General, Cabinet Office, the Government of Japan. I first like to congratulate all the winners、uh, for、uh, their achievements. I would like to express my heartfelt congratulations to you all. And thanks、uh, to the contributions of many individuals and organizations, including today's winners. Last year, Japan's total traffic accident fatality was 2,839. This was lower than the lowest record set the previous year, and the number fell below 3,000 for the first time. I would like to thank all of you for your contribution. At the same time, I would like to express my sincere respect and gratitude to IAT for focusing on and supporting mobility safety. And despite the drop in numbers, we continue to see accidents caused by elderly drivers and tragic accidents. Regretfully, our fundamental traffic safety program's target to reduce to less than 2,500 the number of deaths within 24 hours after an accident was not achieved. Given these circumstances, the government of Japan has just put together the 11th. Fundamental traffic safety program, which spells out measures to be taken in the five years beginning this fiscal year. The government will strongly promote these measures. The work of this year's winners will take into account the challenges facing mobility today and give s good reference to us in thinking about future traffic safety measures. To all the winners and to IAT, 
I ask for your continuing cooperation in addressing challenges mobility faces, such as the need to curb traffic accidents. In closing, I would like to pray for your continuing success. In closing, uh, Executive Director of IATS, uh, Mr. Kamada Satoshi, is going to give us the uh, final remarks. Kamada uh, Executive Directors, and uh, in this uh, award ceremony, uh, we have uh, awarded uh, uh, three publications uh, in literature awards and one best paper award. And I uh, like to pay the uh, great uh, respect uh, for the great achievements and the efforts behind. For those uh, award winners, uh, thank you very much for your participation all the way from the abroad, other countries. And uh, I'd like to uh, thank you again. In the beginning, uh, uh, Professor Nakamura talked about uh, the screening process, and um, each of uh, those um, achievements are uh, deserving um, our um, honors uh, because of its uh, practicality and uh, interdisciplinarity and nationality. And uh, for the publications, every one of those are different in nature. However, all of them uh, catches uh, current um, policies, uh, practical uh, works, and the technology in the profound discussions, and it will provide a further uh, discussion um, ground uh, going forward. And in the best paper award, the uh, ingenious use of a methodology was uh, found uh, to win the uh, reliable knowledge, and it is going to lead to the uh, actual actions and the stimulant to other researches. And I expect uh, that uh, those learnings will be uh, reflected in our, our further academic activities and the practical uh, actions. I uh, Terrace, the uh, practicality and foresight uh, in doing our jobs. And uh, we are very pleased to be able to provide uh, such great awards for the achievements uh, provided. And uh, because of the COVID-19 situation, we have to host uh, this ceremony on an online basis. But uh, Mr. Matsumoto, Commissioner General of National Colors Agency, uh, Mr. Number, Deputy uh, the, uh, Director General of the Cabinet uh, Office, uh, gave us um, congratulatory uh, remarks on video. Thank you very much. And we uh, feel responsible for the host of the uh, award. And uh, those uh, congratulatory uh, remarks will be encouraging our activity further on. Thank you very much. And uh, this is the 42nd uh, award ceremony, finally. And uh, going forward, we'd like to keep uh, managing uh, this um, mechanism to respond to the trust by the uh, stakeholders. So before this uh, ceremony, we've had uh, presentation sessions, and uh, many of our uh, audience out there have been watching us uh, all the way, and uh, those researchers in the uh, transportation studies, um, or project members, and uh, those from the administration, and those from the working uh, parties. Uh, parties. Um, thank you very much, uh, indeed, for all of you. Uh, for viewing our activities. And this is a fully online-based uh, ceremony and uh, a presentation. However, um, there are many things we can learn from this uh, uh, system, too, uh, for the future uh, hosting of the, those events. And I'd like to appreciate uh, your um, comments and uh, encouragement. And we have a plan to host an uh, international symposium in the autumn this year, and uh, many of the uh, research projects are going on this year, too. Though we have uh, limitations of the activities, I would like to uh, provide a co-creation space uh, for all of you. And uh, I would like uh, to seek for your uh, guidance and um, education for our activity. And uh, finally, again, I thank you very much for all the stakeholders, participants, and viewers. And finally, we are able to close this uh, session successfully. I'd like to extend my deepest gratitude for all you all. And of course, I wish uh, for your success uh, in the future and your health and well-being. And thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much indeed.
Thank you very much, Mr. Hamada. We'd like to now conclude uh, the 40 se uh, 42nd uh, award uh, presentation uh, ceremony of our IATS. Thank you very much for your participation for many hours. And uh, we would appreciate your understanding and the cooperation for our activities of IATS.